say hi from Cherish Math. This is our question here for today. The semicircle and the isosceles triangle have the same base AB and the same area. Find the angle X. I'm going to do some labeling on the diagrams. Take the semicircle. The diameter of this semicircle is AB. Half of it is the radius that I'm going to label with the letter R. For the triangle on the left hand side, half of this length of AB is the same as the radius of the semicircle, which is I'm going to label here as R as well. And I'm going to highlight the height of this triangle with the letter H. I'm going to work out what is the area of this triangle by using the formula of 1 half multiply the base width multiply the height as the formula of the area of triangle. And the working here is 1 half multiply the base width is AB which is twice of the R. Multiply the height that I've labeled here with the letter H. So I will be getting RH as the area of this triangle. And now I'm going to work out what is the area of the semicircle. The area of the circle is pi r square. Since this is semicircle, I have to multiply by one half, and that's the area of the semicircle. I know that the area of the semicircle and the area of this triangle is the same. That would be, I just need to equate it directly with rh to one half pi r square. The equation here would be rh equal one half pi r square. We need to simplify the thing here now. So h is simply equal to one half pi r. I'm now almost at the final step in solving the problem. By looking at this triangle, we know that here is actually going to form with 90 degrees or the right angle. The angle of the x, I can find it by simply using tangent x and that is equal to h as the opposite, which is the height, divided by the adjacent here known as the r. I have to substitute here what is the value of the h by using this part that I got it earlier. The value of the tan x by substituting the value of the h would be 1 half pi r divided by r. And I will be simplifying this part. And the value of the x is inverse of the tan for 1 half pi. The value of the x that I'm going to get here is 57.5 degrees. You can try out with the calculator. That's the answer for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.